I often feel that people my age still have so many life lessons to learn, so I thought the simplest way to teach them these lessons would be to write children's books for adults. So back by popular demand, here's a bunch of storybooks that grown-ups really should read. For example, I wrote one for all the people who think the world owes them something. Oh, you do, do ya? Well, congratulations, you've won a trip to go visit the Willy Wonka and the Go F*** Yourself Factory. Or I have other books with titles like Exercise is too far away from your computer chair. F*** it. Or I've written books that teach lessons about why you're getting dumped. I have one called Girl. I think we should go on a break. Cause I wanna cheat on you and not get in trouble for it. I know some of you can relate to that. Now let me read you a few pages from one of my kids' books for grown-ups. Hey cynical people, before you say a movie sucks, think, is it better than anything I've ever made? The answer is probably yes, meaning you also suck. Also, Zabobo the gorilla says, stop posting pictures of your face on the internet. Because 80% of Americans check social media sites when they're on the toilet. The more pictures of your face you post, the more people will associate you with poo. And I have books with shocking romantic advice like, apparently, girls are more attracted to guys who are walking dogs. Really? You want to start a relationship with someone because there was a dog near them once? What? Or Susanna the pig says, Where are all the good men hiding? At home. Under their beds. Because they heard you were looking for them. Or things that women can do to save relationships and relationships when guys do them. Trust me, I once tried doing a booty dance to Dirty by Christina Aguilera to save a relationship. Just picture that, it's kind of gross. Got to get dirty. One of them is on a minute. Hurry. It's about time for my arrival. Gonna get dirty. Gonna gonna get them in a hurry. <laughs> Sorry, you can clean the puke off your computer now. And now here's another page from one of my kids' books for adults. Holidays were invented to make you feel awkward and unable to break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend. And this guy's saying, crap, can't break up with her yet. Her birthday's coming up. Damn, can't dump her this week. It'll ruin her flag day. Skanks love flag day. Now here's a page from a book about how to be a good-looking older man. If you're so bald that you're growing your leg hair long enough to brush it into a comb over, shave your head. I actually kind of look exactly like this guy when I make this face. Isn't that messed up? Now check out some of my best-selling children's books for grown-ups, like Now that you're of legal drinking age, you're too damn old to be getting drunk every night. Or There's nothing worse than when a guy who kinda knows how to play guitar finds your guitar at a party. Or Don't splash people in the pool. It's annoying. I hope you get a hangnail. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm really good at diving into pools. I do this awesome dive where I slowly climb down the ladder and complain about how cold the water is. Now this is an excerpt from one of my books called Raise Your Damn Kids Properly. <clears throat> Tell your kids they can be anything when they grow up. Say it with me, kids. A doctor, doctor a, a police, police officer, officer, homeless. Oh, sorry, an artist. Same thing. Hey, Andy Pandy. Oh, hey, Broccoli Face. You're late. Does that mean I can eat you? What? No, you, you can't eat me. So that's a maybe. No, that's a no. You cannot eat me. We'll discuss it later. No, we won't. Let's just roll the credits. I hate you. Here's one I wrote called, Your Physical Appearance is Such a Cock Block. Sometimes for a laugh I'll sit next to a bunch of busy university students with a Berenstein Bears book and just start highlighting things like I'm studying for a test. Women, this is not hot. Men, this is not hot. Everyone, this is not hot. Cause it's a popsicle. It's a moth popsicle. I should be sacrificed to some weird guy's pet snake. <laughs>